Guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new uh, Laura Mercier setting powder. And I ordered mine online off of the Sephora website because they weren't carrying it in store. So it came in a box like this. And inside, it has an envelope that they um, have different scents that they sent of perfumes, which is nice. Um, that's not the main point right here. And this is the powder right here. This is the Laura Mercier setting powder in medium deep. I have my face mostly done. I haven't done my um, highlight because I wanted to wait so I can um, demo the powder. So this is what the powder looks like in the container and it looks just like the regular Laura Mercier and I have the powder here to show you guys. This is the translucent powder and this is the medium deep one so you can kind of see the difference in the color. The um, the translucent powder has like kind of like a off-white cream color and the medium deep is it looks like it's like a cocoa color so this is what it looks like when you first open it I'm just gonna take this container off and this is the color of the powder it's like a cocoa color so I'm going to apply my highlight so you guys can see what that looks like. And this is the regular powder. So these are the colors right here. So I'm just going to apply my highlight and I already did my contour and I'm going to set my face so you guys can kind of see the difference. So I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Espresso for my um, under eye highlight and nose highlight. I'm just gonna apply that. I already know like I'm gonna love this because I already love the Laura Mercier setting powder. So I feel like the one with the color will be probably just as good because it's such a good formula and the only difference is that it's a warmer shade, like a darker shade I mean. The only difference is that it's a darker shade, so like, that's always a plus. I have a clean beauty blender that I'm going to be using to blend out my highlight. So I'm just going to spray this with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus to get it damp. To test it out, I'm going to put the actual deep setting powder and I'm going to to use it under my eyes because it's a deep color but it's not super deep to the point that it's too dark and I feel like it'd be really nice for like a natural face makeup look so this is what the deep looks like under my eyes it blends in really nicely the reason why I love Lar, if anyone knows about the powder or has it already it's such a very like soft powder it's very soft it's sets the face very nicely it doesn't like go into your fine lines and creases of your face and i do have a like a couple lines under my eyes and i feel like this powder does such a great job at um blurring them out and you can already see the difference in my face just by adding the powder like it's so beautiful and i already knew i was gonna love it but i was like when i saw the video on this from another youtuber i forgot her name I immediately went and bought it like I didn't even think twice about it because I was like so excited about it because I already know how much I love the regular one and how good it is so I wasn't expecting anything less from the deep shade so this is what it looks like I'm just gonna dust the excess off my face and you guys can see how flawless that looks and then I'm gonna take the remainder on this cap and just kind of like buff the rest of the powder onto the rest of my face to set my entire face makeup so. oh my god
see. Look how nice this looks. This looks so good and I'm not even done with my whole face. Oh my god. It blurs out your face. The translucent loose setting powder locks in makeup for long lasting wear without adding weight or texture. This bestseller creates a modern matte finish with a touch of sheer coverage, which it absorbs oil and reduces shine all day. The pros know why it's their favorite. The powder is a little denser than an average powder, providing super smooth, even application and blending. This has no flash it's a no flashback formula which means it looks great in photos and it creates a soft focus effect to um, subtly blur the look of fine lines and imperfections it will not settle into fine lines or pores and it never looks cakey these true these truly translucent shades work for all skin tones from the fairest to the deepest the just released translucent medium deep shade was designed to be completely translucent on medium deep to the darkest skin tones ensuring thus every skin gets a perfectly flawless translucent finish so this is what it claims to do on the website on the sephora website and i agree to everything that it said so that's pretty much it for the powder the powder retails for 38 dollars but you can buy a smaller um container that's 23 dollars if you don't want to um commit to like the big size one but i would recommend buying the bigger one because it lasts so long like you can have the powder for like over a year and you'll still have powder to use on your face so that's pretty much everything i have to say about the powder i already knew i was gonna love it i just wanted to share because i was so excited to get it and like i knew i was just gonna be awed by it it never disappoints like i've tried other powders especially like i've tried the sasha buttercup and i like it and it's good but I don't think it's nearly as good as the La Mercier powder. Like, you guys can see it for yourself in this actual, like, natural lighting camera. Like, everything. You guys can see, like, how the powder looks on my face. How I set my makeup and everything. So, that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to, like, comment and subscribe. And let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.